What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabro Final Four here with another match with our revised updated Weavile GX uh, Dark Box deck with Grimmsnarl VMAX and Galarian Moltres V. Uh, long ass name for all these Pokemon, but these are the cards we're working with now. And uh, gonna start with Cricketune V. This is nice, uh, my little draw Pokemon. We don't really have much besides uh, this card and Dedene, so I'm glad to see it. And I actually have the Creepy Ball Guy as well. And it should be a good opening card for a supporter. I'll be able to get a few of the Pokeballs from the deck, search out some additional Pokemon, and go from there, thin the deck. It's one of those cards like Apricot Maker. You don't search the Pokemon directly. You search item cards that are going to search you the, the Pokemon. So it's deck thinning, using your cards at the right time where you want to use them. Of course, Pokemon fetchers like Balls, uh, they're good in the early early to mid game let's say like maybe in some situations late game they can help but once you've played your Pokemon down and you don't really need to search Pokemon uh, drawing those kinds of uh, Pokeballs late game is not really good so using them at the right time early is what's up okay so ball guy as I mentioned we're gonna use this only supporter I got anyway and gonna get a quick ball, a cherish ball, and unfortunately a level ball because I can't get two of the same kind. Um, it is what it is. It's still a plus two. Grab three cards anyway. And I can easily just use this level ball to use that as a discard outlet. I think we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna grab red and green, red and blue with the tag call. Make sure I'm ready for the uh, Weave Out GX next turn. Now my opponent, as you guys can see, he somehow, some way, powered up that Zacian V automatically, turned one. Uh, lucky with the Trepid Sword, and of course, Metal Saucers also help. So the dude is ready. He's got, uh, I think, the other dude is a Zamazenta in the active position. It's one of those new black and gold sort of secret rare versions. I think he came in a collection box or something. Um, Cricket to draw some cards, and we're just going to pass our turn, but a very solid uh, first turn on my end. Uh, got, a f got a few Darkness Energies, I have my double Sneasel, got Grimmsnarl, got Cricket V, it's going to help us out. I mean, he's probably going to die now, but uh, I have what I need, and I'll be able to retaliate right now. So, kills the dude, and uh, I wonder what should I promote now? That's an interesting question. I guess we're going to do Grimmsnarl and hope that I, I do see the VMAX. Uh, if I see the VMAX with five Darkness Energies, these regular Vs are dead, so it's great. We're going to discard Darkness Energy and we're going to discard the Level Ball, like I've said. So, I, I mean, I got that, but it, it wasn't a useless card. I managed to use it for something. And we have four Darkness Energies in play. Make that 5 with my Galarian Moltres, amazing dire, dire Flame ability. And now it's the perfect chance to get to Dene GX with the Cherish Ball, draw an additional 6 cards, and please give me the stuff I need. And uh, we did not. I really wanted that VMAX, goddammit. Oh well, we're going to get rid of his Stadium, and I'm going to get rid of my Stadium at the same time, since it's a Chaotic Swell. And what are we going to do now? I mean, he's going to have to switch. He can't attack automatically with the, the dude. I could do like a 40 for 1, but that's not going to be cool. Uh, I guess we could put 3 Darkness Energies on, but... I'm just going to do 200, and then if he dies, I lose 3 Darkness Energies. So you know what? What I'm going to do is... We are going to put the Darkness Energies on Dark Cry and pass the turn. It really sucks because, you know what, if I promoted Darkrai GX as opposed to Grimmsnarl, I mean, <sighs> there was a good chance I was going to get 6 Darkness Energies since I was planning on using the Denny anyway. So this was a misplay. We could have gotten a KO, to be honest. Uh, God damn it. But anyway, um, it is what it is. Sometimes you make a mistake. I, I could have really drawn the Grimmsnarl VMAX, or you never know. But he retreated and putting Zamazenta in the active position. But he actually finished a turn with an Interpret Sword, couldn't attack. Now it's perfect for me because he didn't really do much and I'm going to reset his hand with Marnie. 
And let's see what we what we need. Like a, I need like a switch or something. And I do see the switch and the Grimson of Emax. So excellent. So now we're gonna be able to do finally do stuff and attack. Now since he has the Zamazenta in the active position, I can't use the Grimsnarl right now because he's immune to VMAX. This is a very useful ability uh, in this VMAX V sort of a Gen 8 format right now. It's not going to be good forever when the other Rubox stuff comes out. But for now, Zamazenta is a very good Pokemon. And uh, I'm going to use this opportunity and just go for Dark Christ GX attack. Or maybe not actually. No, yeah, fuck. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, he's got that metal goggles there. Yeah, it's a good thing I noticed that, because that would have been really bad if we wasted our GX attack. So I can't... I'm pretty sure the ruling is he will stop the GX attack, because it's essentially an effect that puts damage counters, knocks out a Pokemon. I think that's how it goes. I could be wrong. I mean, this is why you got to know your rulings. But... um. I don't know, we're not going to risk it, so I'm going to move the Darkness Energies, just keep three on Dark Cry, and just go for Black Lance. It seriously sucks, but, I mean, it is what it is. What can you do? So it's a bit annoying. I really wanted to get that GX attack off. <sighs> Maybe it's a mistake. You guys can tell me in the comments what the ruling is. I mean, I could just look it up, but not right now, of course. The thing is, though, is that... You don't want to risk it if you don't know, like, just waste my GX attack like that. That's basically an instant one-hit KO on anything. So I just couldn't do that. Just went for our Black Lance. Uh, now he has the Zacian in the active position again, ready to attack. And he plays an additional Metal Goggles on the other guy. Damn it. I guess we're going to have to retreat now. Can't really do much else. So, Cynthia, Caitlyn, let me discard uh, the Grimmsnarl, of course. Uh, Dubwood is going to be quite useful later on. And I'm going to get Cheryl, actually. Uh, should I get Cheryl? Yeah, I mean, he has no hand. I'm not going to get Marnie. We will use the Cheryl later. If he hits the Greninja, the Grimmsnarl, I'm obviously going to heal the dude up. So, you know what? Since... The Zacian just has a damn balloon. I mean, I'm going to lose a lot of Darkness Energies using the GX attack on this dude, but we're going to get the one he KO, and Darkrai GX did its part. He can't even play Trainers either. I mean, he doesn't have anything in his hand, but use the GX attack while I can, I suppose. And before you know it, I'll have enough Darkness Energies anyway. Uh, Moltres can grab me one. I should be able to dig for one as well next turn. Uh, but he couldn't even attack. Wow. I mean, yeah, I mean, he didn't have a hand. His Pokemon don't have enough energies. But now I'm actually going to be able to get the lead on you, dude. Um, use Grimmsnarl. It's going to be perfect. He couldn't even get the KO on Darkrai, so now he has to pull it to KO it. Uh, easy one he KO with five darkness energies, even with the metal goggles, you can't survive this shit. And you know what, I'm actually going to put, uh, let's not put all of the damn energies, let's spread them around a little bit. Uh, let's put it on Sneasel, which if he kills, he's not really accomplishing much. And then put it on the Dene, because if you kill that, you're not accomplishing much either. Uh, leave the other Pokemon that are useful. And I guess... Should I move the energy on Moltres as well? That's an interesting decision. And Cynthia Caitlin discard the level ball. Let me get red and blue, but... Uh, wow, we draw the... Uh, we've all GX anyway. Let me get rid of your tools. Since I got the tool scrapper, why not make use of that as well? So no more metal goggles. Uh, attack call, I have nothing to search. But we're playing our cards. We're going to use our cards so that we don't draw them later on. If he Marnies or something. And then just a uh, powerful 270 with Grimson V Max. You can't really fuck with this guy. You can't underestimate him with a lot of darkness energies. He will put the pressure up. I like the fact that he has 330 HP too. He's not like one of those other V Maxes that have 320. Even Salamence has 320, which is kind of sad for me, but. Uh, got the big KO. He has only one Pokemon left. Uh, 
Uh, of course, Grimstone can't harm this Amazenta, but I'm easily going to switch. I can even use Moltres to attack. It's going to do the job. Only need to get two prizes. He has this hurt dude over there. Doesn't have anything else on the field. He has to play something. Uh, attack call. He gets Malo and Lana. I guess he can heal, but you're not really going to go far at this point. I'm applying too much pressure. I guess he did play the Clefairy doll, and you could do that switching stuff, I suppose, but... I mean, dude, uh, Grimpsnarl is fresh, and uh, as long as he's fresh, I can just leave him active to attack. Even this Clefairy doll isn't going to buy you a lot of time. Hmm, okay, so yeah, I... What are we going to do? Let's, let's put the energy on... Let's grab an energy with Moltres, what I meant to say. Just G-Max Drill, pretty simple. Don't really need to do any more stuff. I mean, I, I have complete control of this game. Um, my setup is perfect. My field is perfect. It's going to go for Marnie. Okay, you're going to mess with my hand. But I have everything that I need on the field, basically. I have so many Darkness Energies. You guys can see that it can really add up just from one Galarian Moltres. Imagine if you had, like, two down. Basically, like, uh, seven, eight, nine Darkness Energies on the field, I think. Make that ten. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to straight up retreat right now. He left the Z Zamazeta in the active position. Uh, draw two cards with uh, Erika, too. Uh, nothing with Spinner. But, I mean, at this point, he's not really going to do anything. Uh, I can even retreat with confidence. I have so many Darkness Energies on the field. Even losing three is nothing. And Dire Flame Wings get a darkness energy back now we're ready to attack and then shadow connection let me just move these a little bit uh, move them a bit differently have them on the field a bit differently and aura burn uh, he surrendered anyway didn't let me get the attack but a very good gg with weaval gx and his pals in standard i hope you guys enjoyed this match subscribe to the channel leave a like share this video with your friends and i'll see you guys on the next one we'll see you.